For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I wanted to show you how you can use a capacitive touch wheel inside of CircuitPython. So what you'll see I have here, this is a capacitive touch wheel. This is made by Todd Bot, and I'll put a link to his Tindy store over in the chat. Uh, and what this is is three sets of copper traces and a few passives, and then we have three pins. Those wires are running out to three capacitive touch capable pins on my microcontroller, which in this case is a Cutie Pie RP2040. And what we're doing is reading the position of my finger on that cap touch wheel, and then using that in this case to drive some NeoPixels. But you could use this for anything, as you can imagine, scroll wheel stuff, volume stuff, uh, anything you want that brings in a rotary position you can use this for. This is done actually pretty deceivingly simply inside of CircuitPython. You can see here in my code what I'm doing. I'm importing touch.io library, and then I'm setting three pins on the board, A1, 2, and 3, as my touch pins. We instantiate those three. And then we have this function here. This is called wheel pause, and it brings in three values. So the three values of capacitive touch on the three interleaved copper traces is going to be greater for one and less for another until we cross a threshold and then the next one rises. If you look in the printouts in my REPL there, you can see we'll get closer to full value on one of them as we're reducing value on the next. And so by checking those percentages that we're touching one, two, or the other two of those, or just a single one, we get a position along this wheel using some clever math uh, that Todd Kurt wrote. So now if you look in the main loop here, I have my set of LEDs with a little dimming function. We're calling that wheel pause um, function here to find out the position along the wheel. And then we're setting the main LED position on the NeoPixel ring based on that. And so that is how you can use a capacitive touch wheel using touch IO library inside of CircuitPython. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.